Hello and welcome to Beachy Bikes. Today we're out on my Africa Twin and today I'm going to talk to you about all the things, oh my god, I don't like about the Africa Twin. Try not to fucking fall off it while I'm doing it. So yeah, so the first thing is this, this screen dash. And in fact, I'm going to show you this right this second because it's a quiet spot. So watch this. So the bike is off. Okay, so let it turn off. Turn it on. You wait, you wait, you start. And then you're sitting here like this. And you're waiting for the screen to come on. You're like, yay, we're coming on. Oh, that looks fancy. And then it's still coming. Oh, the rider is responsible for safe operation of this vehicle. Use this system only when traffic conditions are sit. For further details, see your manual. Okay. And you have to hit that every single time you use the damn thing. And frankly, I find it quite annoying. So yeah, that's, that's one thing that I don't like about it. The other thing I don't like about the Africa Twin or well, this Africa Twin, shall we say, is that the uh, it has this great screen, which would be awesome for a sat nav. And and I, I said this online, and Honda got back to me and said, "Danny, you know, you know, it can plug in, and you can have like Google, uh, you can have a uh, uh, Apple Play on it." I was like, "Yeah, great. What about Google?" Oh no, don't don't support Google. But 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 I, but I run Android phones. I don't don't like Apple. Oh well, yeah, they're well. So I've got all this technology in this screen that's perfect for Apple users and I can run maps and all sorts of connect your phone all that crap to it. But because I, because I, because I use um, Android devices, I can't use it. And I have to now install a, uh, a second sat nav. So I'm paying for all this technology inside uh, a bike and uh, I can't use it which is just mental really um, the next thing is I don't like is that the cruise control is okay I love cruise control so I, I love cruise control and I love the fact he's got it but it, it comes in in fourth gear above 30 mile an hour which is fine but like I kind of use it mainly in 30 mile an hour so I found myself having to be in fourth gear which on this bike is a bit lumpy and then you have to set it at like 33 and then come down to 30 and it's kind of like well I don't really want if it just came in in third gear and then kind of you could set it at like 25 maybe you know it'd be all right that's kind of I mean that that's just for me a lot of people think it's mental and think I'm mental for saying that um so yes yeah, so there's that and then the other thing is it's obviously got the manual preload adjuster on the rear which frankly I haven't touched and haven't needed to and in my current time in my previous videos I've gone oh it's got to be all electric but my wife's not getting on and off the bike anymore and uh, yeah and oh yeah in one of my previous videos someone said oh why are you so bothered about it okay so what happens is is when me and my wife were out riding I'd see a lovely set of corners I want to kind of bang through so she would hop off maybe get the camera out just hop off and have a cup of tea these roads are horrific um, and then um, she would uh, she would get off and I'd bang through the corners and get back on again but with 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 the manual I've got to go right well the suspension's now set up for her or else on here and and not mine and, and it's kind of like well that's just a bit it's just that's just a bit annoying so that's the reason why I've always preferred electronic suspension however however nowadays she doesn't come on the bike anymore really she has done it in the past and she hasn't been on this one because we've got two kids now and someone's got to have the kids and so that that's fair enough so that that problem is now not really an issue for me so I, so that's not 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 a hate and such but it, it still still would be nice um, now the other things about this the things that I like about this bike are purely down to this bike and I have it on good authority that all the other uh, Africa twins and you can spec it and stuff have this so one thing it doesn't have heated grips um, but, but I, I'm aware this is just a low bottom of the range bike so apparently they do so that's fine the other thing is is it doesn't have uh, adjustable front screen which for me would be a little bit handy because I'm obviously a little bit taller than than the average person apparently bearing in mind that I didn't think I ever was um, yeah so a big a bit of a taller screen or be able to adjust it or something just 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 to take off that that buffeting a bit 
Um, and then other than that, um, it's just been a, a few a few uh, switch area switching stuff. Um, like my flasher is is kind of not really in a in a position that that I'm used to. And the other thing is the indicators. If you try and look for them with your eyes, you can't find them. But they're kind of where your finger is. But sometimes you miss them, and sometimes they they they, they they're just it's just not quite perfect for me. Um, and I would have thought after nearly 800 miles, I would have done a bit more. And anyway, I'd like to point out, these, these are after, this is not a, a two minute, I've had this bike an hour and this is what I hate. I've had this bike now for 750 miles, just about, just shy of 800 miles probably. And uh, so these are, these are kind of, I'm going to say long term, I've done probably a third of a year's riding in kind of two months now. So, um, and then other than that, I kind of like everything else. I kind of, it's kind of missing a centre stand, um, which I would like, um, just for just for maintenance, just for fucking getting oil on that chain and spinning the tyre around, just to make sure, and you know, just just generally taking the weight off its tyres when it goes into storage. That's that's kind of it, really. Um, I can't really think of anything else. I mean, the dash is obnoxiously complicated my lord it is that i mean that navigating that that dash is it's not intuitive at all and uh yeah that's that is something that that really uh yeah but however i i, I mentioned this to honda and honda went haha we have a simulator and they sent me this link and uh, you could crash through all the simulation and work out how to do stuff and click it and drag this. So I got to learn it quite quickly and some days I'm sitting there going, how do I do this? And, and you're like, all right, yeah, and, and you get to it. So it's very complicated, but th the good thing about being complex is that it um, you've got so many options to do so many things. I mean, adjusting your power output, adjusting your, your uh, engine braking and your traction control, turning ABS on, turning ABS off. You know, uh, chest ch changing how, how responsive your quick shifter is, whether you're wearing soft boots, hard boots, yada yada yada. All that kind of stuff is amazing, and uh, yeah, that that you know, wouldn't, there's no complaints there. So, other than that, I really can't think of anything else I don't like about it, which for me I think is pretty good. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's it's a great bike. Um, I, I just, yeah, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely high on my, I don't no idea where I am. It's definitely high on my list of, um, of, uh, bikes that I, I, I think I'm going to buy, possibly in the future. Um, so yeah, so that's, I think that's enough rambling on this video. Those are the things I don't like. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Ciao for now. Bye.